happens. A uh, quick forecast from Pat Carlini. We've got showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for today and throughout the weekend. Okay, pop it up here and there. Yep, yep. Nothing too serious. No, no. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. We're live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Kind of a sausage fest going on in here today. <laughs> <laughs> Just a couple wow. of bros hanging out. <laughs> it's the uh, Bob and Tom Men's Club edition. <laughs> Coming to you from the Napa Auto Parts studios tomorrow, of course, Friday, meaning the Napa Tool of the Week. I got myself, I'm not supposed to do that. No, I'm going to say, speaking of tools, yeah. here's our guest, comedian Ben Moore. That just sounds bad. Mm. Hey. I'm sorry. Let's, let me start off. <laughs> I thought this was a sausage part. Let me start off. Yeah. Gross, no, we, can, we, we can do this again. I can make this work, I think, if I go like this. And I hit that button over there. There we go. I like that chord better anyway. Dearly, dearly oh, beloved. <laughs> We are gathered here today. Hey, how does that feel? Welcome better. back to the Bob and Tom Show, live from the Napa Auto Parts studio. Speaking of Napa, there tomorrow's you. Friday. It's the Napa Tool of the Week. Nice. Speaking of tools, our guest <laughs> host is our guest host is comedian Josh Arnold. Uh, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. He'll be shaking his tool on stage tonight. Ooh, wow. Well, that'll that'll be, be, yeah. That's <laughs> at the Funny Bone in St. Louis, Missouri. Get your tickets now. <laughs> Oh, is this the show where the man's going to show me his tool? <laughs> I'd that. like to see that. He has braces, doesn't he? That should be very interesting. Uh, Josh, oh. Arnold, Josh Arnold, a fully grown man with braces. Yeah. But I, I applaud you for doing that. How much longer are those braces on? Uh, I'll get them off in the fall. Okay. They're on his teeth, by the way, not not, not like FDR. Oh, <laughs> my God. Make, make that clear. Yes. Or they're going to take the ramp up to the stage. <laughs> Uh, we have comedian Dave Wade over there, comedian Ben Moore over there, and I believe we have Chick McGee on the telephone in the pace car for the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500. Um, are you there, Chick? Hello again, everybody. We're uh, we're rushing back to the studio so we can uh, get you guys these milkshakes before they melt. You guys went to Steak and Shake. Yes, and we'd like to thank uh, Rasta for uh, hook us, hooking us up there at Steak and Shake. Her name is Rasta, like Rasta Ferry. Her name is Rasta, like Rasta Ferry. That's cool. I've never heard of wow. that. That's a great that's name. name. I've never Rasta. heard that. Yeah. Wow. I really like that. Did you flip for 10 bucks like I told you to? Uh, well, I have any cash. Well, you see, Tom, uh, due to the success of uh, direct marketing and carnivals, uh, I really... What had happened was... <laughs> I really... Uh, you didn't give her a... We're in a cashless society, Tom, and once you sign that slip, I mean... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. No, no, it's going to look like you, Stifter, because it was your credit card. But still, uh, no, I mean, all right, I'll have to stop by later. <laughs> Certainly, I, I've I'll given make you. Make sure a... to get my shake without the cherry on it. <laughs> oh, we you know how difficult those are to remove from yeah. the top of the shake. <laughs> we, uh, we've got you a very. How do you feel about food waste, Josh? Make... Uh, excuse me, man, but you're not going to eat that. Wow. <laughs> Uh, make no mistake, your your shake has been selected especially for you, yeah. Tom. <laughs> <laughs> your cherry was removed with somebody's end, yeah. from what I. And that little uh, that little semicircular indent in the whipped cream on top is from a very large cherry. Yes, yeah, don't worry about it. Okay. Yes. No one dipped their balls in it, if that's what you're thinking. That's what he's trying to do. What I'm saying is. Yeah, we got it. Once again, we have. Oh, sorry, Pat. <laughs> we have a Chick That's McGee, so Chick McGee, and uh, the pace car. Oh, right can, can you hear the car? Gibson. Ready? We're we're yeah. go, we're going to accelerate. Ready? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful. Oh, so nice. Very nice. Ooh, there's a cop up ahead. Heads up. One oh one. Be cool. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> okay. No, uh, we'll look forward to getting those milkshakes. In the meantime, we're going to talk with our guests here in the studio, fellas. So we'll tone down just a hair. Oh, um, okay. Have, uh, mm. Okay, I guess we're out, guys. More. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> well, you're welcome to listen. No, no, certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> do you have any, do you have any no, contributions? No, you I'm, I'm listening to the uh, live Bob Schneider album. It's fine. Go ahead. Signal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> fine, fine record. I haven't got my own. We have uh, Ben Moore over there. Now, Ben, we're talking about uh, This is kind of astonishing news. I'm not going to show. After year, years of visiting the show, you actually have a book. You're not, you're not married, We're not married. Because she doesn't, she doesn't have health insurance. <laughs> no point. But time and not. So you can. I, like, no, I, like having a, I, I like having a girlfriend now because I can hang out with her all the time. Because, you know, my friends are kind of garbage. I think that was the thing. You don't realize your friends are bad until you need them for something. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, oh, you've been a jerk this whole time. And I just, like in a crisis, like I had to go to a funeral. So I asked my friend, would you go to the funeral with me? And he goes, 
ooh, it's going to be open casket. Mm. I was like, I think so. He's like, oh, I can't do that, man. That freaks me out. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you were the one person that funerals made uncomfortable. <laughs> like, yeah, don't don't show up if you're going to be a bomb when we're trying to have a good time. Like, what are you talking about? Uh-huh. Like, they're supposed to be sad. That's the point of funerals. <laughs> you show up to be sad. Like, we could make them fun. We just sure. don't because that would be disrespectful to the person. But you right. could make them real fun. You hear about it later. You'd be like, how was the funeral? Oh, it was great. Yeah, it started off sad. But then at the end, this old-timey <laughs> detective walked up to the front of the room and he said, we're all heartbroken by the passing of Nana. <gasps> And one of you is the killer. And we'd be like, oh, my God. <laughs> and the lights would go down, and there'd be a crash of thunder. And I'd be like, oh, my God, is this a funeral murder mystery dinner? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love these. <laughs> and everyone's a suspect because she was a bitch. You know what I mean? Like, that would be, That'd be really a way you could make it fun. That'd, That'd be, be very, yeah. very exciting. <laughs> uh, now, you live in a college town. I do. And I uh, you're a man of a certain age. I'd say, what, 30-ish? You want to pinpoint it? Um, 36. Are you really? Yeah. Well, you're very young looking. Thirty. Thanks yeah. a lot. I try to date real young, so that's the thing. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, being, to... a, being in a college town, I would think that dating young would be pretty much the, the norm for you. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I feel like – I know I'm not that old, but I feel like I just hit that age where I can't pass as a kid in a bar anymore. Mm-hmm. Like, I doesn't quite – it seems weird. I feel right. like when I walk into a bar now, they all think something's up. Mm-hmm. Like, I think I don't – I think some there to literally – <laughs> you know, <laughs> and I, but I like being older because I think you know I like women my age because they basically given up, which is very relaxing. You know what I mean? We are currently chasing Jess of the famous oh, off the air podcast. podcast. Here she is. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Jess. <laughs> I was worried about you. I didn't know that. Uh... Mm-hmm. You think you buy me a drink and you own me? What do you think this is? What do you think this is? What do you think this is? Like, I think it's a bar. Like, that's what you're supposed to do here. I'm being appropriate here. It's not like I'm busting into the ladies' room at the hospital (laughs) with a six-pack of Mike's Hard Lemonade. Uh Like, who wants to party, you sick bitches? Like, that would be inappropriate. But I'm not doing that yet. I'm not there yet. Comedian Ben Moore. Uh, That's a lot of truth to that. Uh, That would be very exciting. Uh, Now, we also have uh, comedian uh, Dave Waite. Now, you're now living in Los Angeles, which I was not aware of. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm out there in the Hollywood sunshine, all that nonsense, you know. Uh, I, I you know, coming from the Midwest, like, I, I like it out there, but there's some stuff I can't get behind. The other day I went to a hip grilled cheese restaurant, and the fact that the sentence is stupid, right? You know, you know what a hip grilled cheese restaurant is? My mom's house, right? <laughs> <laughs> she makes it with love. And I, I ordered a grilled cheese at this place, and the guy said $13. And I was like, what happened? Did I black out? Did I, did I order 13 grilled cheeses? <laughs> I was looking at my phone. Maybe I said 13 For $13, that guy better come out from behind the counter and give me a hug and tell me it's going to be okay because that's what my mom would do. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. They've got – no, they've got – what's that? And it's, uh, a lot of – all the macaroni and cheese places. Yeah, those yeah. are big now. Yeah, but I'd complain if they were bad, but they're not. They're very good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have excellent macaroni. Lots of different flavors. Now, mm-hmm. Pat, you probably make a wicked macaroni and cheese. I'm guessing microwave. I've mm-hmm. used uh-huh. microwave a couple times. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Your kid's the first ones ever to go to college. Hold on. Good stuff. We have a weird story that is actually, this, this, this is the kind of thing that I get really depressed about. It's a... Um, we were going to pick up that hitchhiker, but we have too many milkshakes in the back. And tanker support aircraft. Just lobby this. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, just with contemporary technology, you think they might have switched it over. Some, the weird thing is the guy that is in charge of it, yeah. he uh, he isn't even a general. No. He's a comedy. See old Apple dated Commodore, yeah. Commodore 64 joke there. You don't get a lot of those anymore because they're so old. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, there yeah. is something very disconcerting about our nuclear forces being on the same computer that might still have Oregon Trail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a good one. It's got Pong on it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a little scary. And I do, didn't they say the one that the air traffic control system is using uh, very unsophisticated technology? Yeah, so yeah. I would think they'd be in a cash out there with the government. They could, they, yeah, maybe they could knock that up a couple notches. Mm -hmm. Get us something that was a little bit better, I would hope. So um, maybe this news story will uh, get the alert out there. That's oh, really I'm scary. sure we're changing lives. <laughs> <laughs> we change lives here, government Josh. policy, yeah. <laughs> well, it was, you know. It was, uh, Bring it to light. And, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, wow. Well, now, um, uh, Pat, have you got anything else over at the news desk? Well, we didn't get to finish our favorite dog names. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah, go yeah. ahead. Well, All right, so Bella and Max are the top dog names in New York City. The City Health Department announced Wednesday that it registered 1,127 dogs named Bella and just over 1,000 named Max in 2015. Bella's been the city's most popular dog name since 2008. That's when the last vampire-themed Twilight novels featuring Bella Swan was published. But some dog owners took their inspiration from the pantry and the garden. The health department says it's had licensed dogs named Bean, Raisin, Josh's favorite, yes. and 15, <laughs> 15 dogs named Potato. Hmm. Potato seems to be a popular really? name. Really? <laughs> Don't know why. Potato. And then yeah. there's also some flower names like Daisy's a popular one. There's some for tulips, primroses, and two daffodils were registered here. Daffy's a good name. Mm-hmm, Daffy. And then if you have a beagle, Snoopy is still a popular one. Right. And if you have a boxer, Tyson is still a popular one. Hmm. Now, okay. do you have the top ten in that article? Uh, no, not in this article. Oh, okay. Top I was going to say. Because the top ten girls' names were yeah. little people. I think it wasn't uh, Emma. Emma's okay. number one. Emma, Olivia, Sophia, Ava, Isabella, Mia, Abigail, Emily, Charlotte, and Harper. Mm, yes, okay. none of those are. None of those are. I bet a couple of those are probably in the dog name list. Eh? Mm -hmm. Most popular names for boys in 2015: number one, Noah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Liam, which is a name I've never heard until those. Is Oasis music? making a comeback or something? No. Noah and Liam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Mason, Jacob, William, the classic. Ethan, James, Alexander, Michael, and Benjamin. Oh, there you go, Benny. Okay. So there you go. Ben Moore uh, is our guest in the studio, um, along with uh, comedian uh, comedian Dave Boyd, both hanging out with us. Uh, Dave now living in Los Angeles, which is great, uh, touring all over the country. Any, uh, any road horror stories or more L.A. stuff? Uh, no, I mean, I just uh, <laughs> totally blew that lead in. <laughs> I was from the yeah, yeah. anyway. <laughs> People say you sound like you're stoned all the time. Is that uh, yeah. <laughs> Are you stoned? <laughs> or they say I sound like Quagmire from Family Guy or all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> now, now uh, let me ask you this, uh, Ben. Uh, are you a? Uh, I know that I'm having occasional cocktails. Are, yeah. Are you a? Hey, he's uh, a sober guy. I stopped oh, drinking. Oh, you quit drinking. Oh. Well, no wonder. I decided I was getting old enough. I was going to quit all my. I used to drink a lot and do a lot of drugs. Just be awesome. I was really cool. <laughs> I was like the coolest guy. When you were fun, huh? yeah, yeah, so much fun. And then I decided I was going to quit all of my bad habits except for my favorite two. I'm trying to focus on those. Well, so right now I'm as messed up as a person can possibly be on uh, black coffee and masturbation. Those two. Hit oh, yeah. those hard. So far I've been kicked out of a lot of Starbucks. But aside from that, <laughs> uh, yeah. taking part in aside both of those activities at the same time. I see. I don't know if you can have a coffee problem. I drink a Though I don't know if it's normal. Has this ever happened to anybody else? Have you ever had so much coffee at a Starbucks you get a panic attack? So then you run to the men's room to poop out the demons, and then halfway through the uh, motion sensor turns the light off, and for two seconds you think you just died like Elvis. Oh my else? God. <laughs> that might be a problem. That might be just you. Is that just me? <laughs> I think I can handle it. Well, we have um, a bunch of really cool stuff that's happened in the news this week, but I, I do want to play this thing one more time. We have. Um, uh, the, the story about the Chewbacca lady, I'm sure you guys have all seen this video by now. It's really everywhere. It's like, apparently it's the most viewed video in the history of Facebook Live. Is that correct? Facebook Live, yeah. Yeah, it, it had, uh, I think after, was it after 18 hours it had been seen? I think it was 138 million yeah. times, something, something like that. And it's this lady, you can hear it here, she's, um, she's got, she goes into a Kohl's department store. And she, I heard her talking on a show about this, and she bumps this box with her elbow and it makes this sound and 
and she realizes, oh, it's from this Chewbacca mask. How cool is that? Well, then she finds out when she puts it on that when you move your jaw, it flips a switch and it starts to howl. Yeah, make, that sound. Make, that, make the Chewbacca sound. So she's in her car, uh, opening up the box and talking about it. And it goes on and on and on. Here's a little taste of that. Okay, here we go. Now watch when my mouth actually moves. <laughs> That's not me making that noise. It's the mask. Here, listen. <laughs> get the idea sure, yeah. when, when we come back we have a uh, we have a, a special a special feature uh, coming up it's Memorial Day weekend and it's a uh, time to grill uh, but check this out this segment is brought to you by the Home Depot more saving more doing Pat Carlini, you told me off the air that you're looking for a new grill and you need some help. Yeah, summer kind of snuck up on us here but Memorial Day weekend officially kicks off grill out season and there's so many options out there for all right, we are almost back. We're at the exit here. Milkshakes are all melted. They're Sorry, guys. all melted, today. I mean, it's a pace car. William Gray says it would be. Look at that. They are installing new internet. Like giga speed or yeah. something? Is that coming here yet? Well, I think we're routed. Isn't that the next big thing, giga speed or yeah. whatever it's called? Thanks. Mine too. How do we put the top? Top up? Oh, yeah, down. Yeah, just hold that button. Oh, okay. How's Nora doing, Vibs? Oh, she's so sad right now. Mm. She just sits there with her head down. She doesn't get it. Yeah. You know, when Gibbs had her cone on like that, she would she wouldn't walk, she wouldn't do anything. Yep. Just she, stands, just, she just stood there yeah, like that. That's exactly what she said. Oh, it's so sad. Can you hold that for a second? Hello, baby. Bangle getting out of a car. Wow, what exciting live Facebook. <laughs> this is what this is what the showbiz is all about, folks. I'm out. Uh, it is okay. Wow, they are really melting. Yeah. Take it. Just one. Can I just throw a tray of those? Did you eat Tom's cherry? Yeah, I ate Tom's cherry. I wanted it. Are you kidding me? Bibbert! <laughs> no! No! What did he do? Oh my god, I could? What were you thinking? I don't care anymore! <laughs> so I think you're milkshake, Tom Griswold. Oh my god!
I still have my milkshakes though. We're not throwing these. I was gonna offer to help carry stuff in, but I guess that's no longer needed. You can carry in the condoms. Oh, <laughs> Actually, I need those. I know for you that's a lot of heavy lifting. Oh, oh, it's only three. This is Grace. That's the talent booker crumb tray of the, the show. Grace, can you get the Comrex? Forget the condoms. The Comrex is very expensive. The expensive thing? Yeah. The and thing that will actually be used? Like, both hands. Do not drop that. No, that's not even funny. That's not joke. This is not a, this is not a time for joking. Well, I guess you get to clean that up later. Yeah. Thanks. It took, it took two weeks to clean up the beer cans from a beer mile. Is your puke stain still there? A little bit. It's Not kind much. of right there where he puked. I remember because they stepped in it. Yeah. Well, special delivery. This is called Friday night, folks. Kind of some milkshake. <laughs> That looks like he's on TV or something. Very handsome. There you go, ladies. How did the shakes fall? He th he hurled them. He hurled them over his shoulder like a jackass. Because you couldn't get out of the car, right? You felt trapped. I'm scared. I get it. Sorry, Ben. We... Who wants to party? Let me do it. Oh my God. Well, oh. Party. well. <laughs> you want to get the fuck out of my chair? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't left yet. No, oh, no. <laughs> Instagram, they're black market. They're not real. That's the thing. They're lovely. I heard about these. These are like $200 on their Kanye West tennis shoes that he made for Adidas, but Instagram. We're still not sure if they're real. A commercial. I'm sure they're not real because they were 90 bucks. But we can't figure out. The sneaker brothers can't figure out where they cheaped out of. I'll be right with you. I got to piss again. I don't know what's going on. We didn't think we'd ever see you again. Hmm? Was that okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You made a bad trophy? Uh, really? Yeah. Do you want to add another mic? Like <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I think that we can have the fellows leave because this is just a wrap up break, and then we got that we got Scott. Oh, yeah, 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 I'll just plug you guys one more time and yeah, Tony, thank you so much. Head out. We on Facebook Live. Live. Well, hi everybody. Hey, We're getting ready to go on the air. Time goes well. Like Pat Carlini. He's all the thing. All right, one Delorean. Oh, wait, they're doing that. Ah, chocolate. Yeah, right. They were Delorean. Yeah, just read it. Damn That's it. all I gotta do. Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yo, we gotta do this. This is great. Thanks for this thing. Scott, a time spent with Harris looking excellent today. Thanks for having me. Thank, Thank you. Done. This is awesome. Good work. Thanks for coming in. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Have you seen you guys? Yeah. Good hey, see you, yeah, yeah. What do you got? You That's Ben Moore. Yeah, yeah. If you're on the Bob and Tom show, you get a milkshake sometime. Sometimes. But don't sit in chick seat. Oh, he really he hates that. Good. Some of them drop. Yeah. He almost hit me. I can see it in his eyes. Some of them drop. What's going on over there? Wait. What? It was Vibber. I had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Valley Park. Okay, I'm going to come back for my own. Yeah. It's always Vibber. It is. They weren't doing This is Jason. It's always Vibber. We got a show to do here. 20 seconds. That I guess it's doing pretty well. So I haven't been. I haven't checked it out yet. The funny bone right now is <laughs> reluctant to let people go. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> Ten All seconds. Right, All right, dude. See you, buddy. Stop. Stop. Hey, hi. Hi, thanks very much for joining us. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs>
with the pace car. Well, all right? they're right at the end as we parked the pace car. We'll get to it. There was an incident. Uh -oh. oh, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We are live in the Napa Auto Parts studios. Tomorrow is Friday, which means the Napa Tool of the Week. Uh oh, did it again. Speaking of tools, mm -hmm. yep. um, I'm back. Uh, there we go. The driver of our uh, Indy 500 pace car this morning. Man, that thing. Uh, the little power in that Camaro. Yeah. That thing uh, picks them up and lays them down. Woo! Nice. Woo! What kind of speeds did you hit up in there? I really did go 101. Wow. Oh, on, on, an, on an interstate. <laughs> on an outer belt. The outer belt of an interstate. <laughs> No, certainly not. It might uh, have right. the numbers four, six, and five in it. But <laughs> what order? Yeah, but who, who's to say? Now, uh, did you get the car back intact? Yes, but right at the end, uh, it's a Camaro SS is the official pace car, the 100th running of the Indianapolis 500. That's yeah. great. Beautiful mm -hmm. car. And uh, as we were parking, uh, you recall we got seven milkshakes. Mm -hmm. Only four survived. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Because... Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Because uh, they were in the back seat with Vibs, and he was this Spangle and I, as Tom would say, uh, Chris Spangle and I are men of a certain size. Right. And uh, we really, neither one of us could fit in the back seat. So Viver got the short straw and, and sat in the back seat. So he was covered with milkshakes. So as he's leaving the car, he loses his mind and throws four of the milkshakes over the side of the car into the parking lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Did we get a picture of that? Yeah, yeah we've got a picture you of that. You threw away four milkshakes? Four so milkshakes. you're saying that my steak little, and shake milkshake. Yeah, in a little history. I said, what happened, Vibs? And he said, I kind of lost it. Oh. So my milkshake without the cherry isn't here? So there's one left, right? There's only one milkshake. That better be a chocolate it. vanilla side by side. Is that a side by side? It's just a vanilla. Just That's a vanilla. Pass. It's Pat's. Yeah. Oh, it's Pat's. Yeah, sorry, Pat. Nah. We could share. Just yeah. a vanilla. You know, why don't you, I, take, why don't you take part of Vibs and part of yours, Pat, and make a make a no, side by side? No, he already drank half of it. No, no, no. Don't, oh. no, 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 no. don't do that. Yeah, but she doesn't want but the good news is we Thanks, do Scott. also have two packages of Trojan Fire and Ice Condoms. Oh, if you want anybody right. Right to order the, or use them. Well, uh, what is the yeah, Fire and Ice deal? Can I see one of those? Sure. Coming in. Over here. Yeah, these are Vibs. You got these? Yeah. Uh, we have two and a half left. Two and a half packs. Uh, I put one on in a steak and shake parking lot. We were playing uh, Aquaman. You ever play Aquaman? You put the condom on your hand. Right. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Really? No. We can play right now if you want. Did you feel them get hot and then cold? Is it talk Back about me up on this, Josh. How it's used on there? Isn't this the way what Aquaman sounds like? I don't know. I don't know. I. Well. Right, see, Aquaman. Oh, so he's got this. Oh, I see. You've got the, oh, I the webbed fingers. Mm -hmm. Web fingers. Yeah, right. There's also spermicide all over his hands yeah. now. Yeah. Well, maybe that's why oh, the shakes slipped out of your hand. No, no, he threw them. He lost it. Uh, do yeah. you feel the fire and ice on your hand? <laughs> Don't shoot that across. <laughs> that was quite the throw. Thank you. Two or three feet. So the fire and ice, uh, you've used one of these, Vibs? I have, yes. And what's the uh, deal here? What's the sensation? Not fun. It feels like uh, You're burning. You're on fire? Yeah. Burning? You're on fire? Burning and then burning and burning. That's not good. Can I try a Tom impression? Oh, it feels like you have a... STD on your member. <laughs> you know, I for so one. For you, it's just right at home. <laughs> yes, Tom. Uh, in other words, for you, uh, because right at home. I'm riddled I, with STD. I'd like to take credit for this newfound uh, Tom Griswold impression phase. I, I absolutely, I love it. You nice. absolutely laid the foundation. For that. Yes. I love Everybody's doing it. Nobody does it like Josh Arnold. That's true. That's true. Now, when you put this on, does it? Uh, is there a warming feeling? Yeah, what's the well, the burning. Yeah, were, you, were you about to throw up when you said, is there a warming <laughs> feeling? No, just cough. Okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> you got to feel it in the face. Thanks for the behind the scenes. Uh, uh, no problem. Yeah. Yes, Tom. I, I got the mic on just in time, so I didn't go <laughs> in the air. But now that you've got that out. Oh so when you put God. these on, is it hot? You put this on your male member and you, suddenly... You put it on and it, it warms up and it kind of cools. Icy hot is pretty much what it feels like. Sure. How weird. Is yeah. It, I mean, uh, it are these popular? No. <laughs> Uh, I think a well, certain, they're for sale, so... I think a certain segment of uh, the population mm -hmm. enjoys the yeah. fire and ice thing, because KY has the same deal, right? So is it, is, the, it, uh, is, the, is it then cold uh, 
cold for the uh, your partner, if you will? Right. Does the right. female feel the same both, sensation? Both feel it, yeah. Hmm. Okay. Huh. Certainly, I never, had a, never had a request, hey, could you stop this and go get a popsicle? That's <laughs> never happened to me. No, I, 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 I have had that request. I'm not, I'm not kidding. Oh, really? For the popsicle? Yeah. yeah. And, yes, Does it go back and forth? Like Sometimes hot, sometimes certainly cold. certainly have a lot of questions about that. I just that. wonder why they call it pineapple. You can go ahead and take that pack home, Pat. And <laughs> Time now for a few. Yes. Time now for things you learned on today's Bob and Tom show with your host, Tom. Oh, here's Tom. We'll begin with uh, an audio uh, highlight of the show. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I, you know, yeah, I, I forgot. Uh, Josh, uh, the, uh, the St. Louis Blues uh, lost your team. Sorry. Yes, thank you. Um, wow. Well, on a different sports note, uh, the Cavs, wow, they slaughtered uh, yeah. the Raptors. It's amazing. 116 to 78, I believe the new phrase is suck it, Drake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there is a thing on the internet, don't Google this, you don't want to see this. A guy in Thailand was using a facility um, of the, uh, of the uh, toilet variety <laughs> when a uh, giant 14-foot Put python yeah. bit him in the male member. Ah, ah, there was a fight that ensued. There's a great deal of blood. And at yeah. first, I thought this sounds like one of those fake stories. No, no, it's. Then you see the picture. Yeah. Oh, the picture is though. It's very clear oh, what wait, happened. Tom, there is a little update on that. He yeah. suffered an eight-inch wound, which <gasps> needed stitches. They stitched him up. He's expected to recover. Well, wait, eight, first of all, eight eight yeah. Wound. Yes. Yes. Congratulations. Yeah. Way to go, my we should friend. all be so wow. lucky. Come on, buddy. <laughs> So you're saying it just got the tip. <laughs> wow. Let's take that to bite me five or six times all the way around. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, this is this really happened. Uh, there's a new ice cream in the South. There's some of the biggest drinkers in the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. Per capita, they've got all these yeah. records. Uh, Josh, when you live in South Korea, ate squid and octopus. Yeah. Yikes. A guy ate three pounds of cereal and a gallon of milk in 17 minutes. <laughs> Getting ready for the uh, big eating thing coming up on July 4th. That is... Uh, that is really disgusting. Yeah. It was an, and it was cinnamon toast crunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he got a world record. Once again, had it been a brand cereal, he'd be setting a different kind of record <laughs> this afternoon. He might need he might need 17 stitches. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show.